Hello again, this is Brent, and today I'm going to show you how to create an account and log into the Trimbleleg software from both online and your mobile device. Starting with the online software, we want to go up to the address bar and type in trimbleegg.com. For those of us that are new Trimbleleg users, we can start by creating an account in one of two ways. First, we're going to take a look at the standard method with the option for multi-factor authentication. Start by clicking Create an Account. Enter your first and last name, followed by your email address, and click Send Code. A code will then be sent to your email address to help verify it. If you do not receive the email, first check to see if it ended up in your spam folder. If it is not there, then you can click Resend Code to see if that'll help push the code to your email. If that still doesn't work, double check the email you entered to make sure it is correct. If needed, you can change the email address by clicking Use a different email. Next, go to your email account and copy the code from the email. Go back to the login screen and enter the code. Now click Submit. You can now enter the desired password, but please note the password requirements are highlighted in red below. Once satisfied, they will turn green. Next, confirm the country, time zone, and preferred language for your account. Now at this time, you can click Submit to create the account as is, or you can enable multi-factor authentication by checking off the option before clicking Submit. Multi-layer authentication is an added layer of security you can use for both setting up your account as well as for logging into your account. It would require you to enter a second verification code generated from methods such as QR codes or a phone number. For our account, we chose to use a QR code. I entered the new verification code and then clicked Submit. I now have the option to turn multi-factor authentication on for my account login as well, or I can just use the standard method. The next screen will then confirm that the account has been created. Click Sign In to then sign into your account. For those of you with Google or Apple accounts, you can take advantage of the second method to create and log into your account by using the Federated Single Sign-On method. Simply click the appropriate link, log in through the portal as normal, and this will then connect you back to your Trimble Egg account. Like in the first method, if this is your first time logging into the account, you will need to set up some basic items before account creation is complete. Now for existing users that may need to reset their password, complete the following steps. Enter your email address, click Next, click Forgot Password, and click Send code. Much like in the account creation process, a verification code will get sent to your email address. Go to your email, copy the code back over to the verification page, and click Submit. From here, just enter a new password, then click Submit. Now, quickly jumping into mobile, you can see that the layout is almost identical to the one we previously saw online, with the same options available to you for both logging in and creating a new account. One thing to note is that you may have a screen pop-up asking you to accept the new terms of service before opening your org. 